drawing ellipses. In our AutoCAD, we can draw perfect ovals and they can be drawn using the ellipse command because they are nothing but ellipses. Instead of stretching a cord from two pins to a moving pencil point, you can draw one ellipse. In AutoCAD, you specify the lengths of its major and minor axis. So this is one ellipse has been drawn. This is our minor axis. This is our major axis and this is the center point of the ellipse. So let us go for one demonstration with the help of which we shall discuss how this ellipse command can be used in AutoCAD. We are going to discuss ellipse command here. So the short form of this ellipse command is EL. If you type EL then the ellipse command will get selected. So I am just pressing enter here. Now we are having the axis endpoints. So I am clicking here. I am going, going for this option. I am just making this one disabled. So I am just coming down here. Then this is a one axis I have given. Two endpoints I have given. Now it is asking for the other one. So I am just selecting this one. So now in this way we can draw one ellipse. So we are giving the axis endpoints in this case. So now let us draw ellipse in other way. So I'm going for this EL, ellipse is there. So now we are having option arc and center. So I'm going for the center at first. I'm going for the center. So if I select one center here, if I select one center, then from this center, one axis endpoint and from this center, another axis endpoint. So in this way also, we can draw one ellipse. So let us go for ellipse drawing in other way. So here we are selecting the option arc. So now here we are mentioning the axis endpoint. So I'm going for this axis endpoint say, and then it is asking for the other endpoint, and then it is asking for the other endpoint of the other axis. Then it is asking for the starting angle. I'm giving the starting angle say like this one, this one, and ending angle is like this one. Then what is happening? You can see that full ellipse we are not getting, but we are getting that part of the ellipse depending upon the starting endpoint and ending endpoint selected. That is the starting angle and the ending angle selected. So in this way we can draw ellipse a part of that using the option arc. I think now ellipse drawing will not be a problem for you. Thanks for watching this.